All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, just lay it down right here. Because we can cut it in the shade. Just like Spartans. It's not hot anymore, though. I know. It'll get a little warm today. All right. It's ramming day. It's been a minute since we have worked on this wall. Uh, we are finishing up the south wall. We're hoping it'll just be a quick and easy day, God willing. Um, we are cutting rebar and foam right now, and then we're going to get started and roll on it. So let's do it. Oh, that's that front cylinder. Yeah, this is the one we had to replace yesterday. We fired it up and tested everything out just to make sure everything was working. And this was just puking hydraulic oil. So we replaced it. Luke just comes walking out of the shop with the, the exact part we need. He's like, here you go. Where did you get that? At Medical Max's. It fits so nice. He said I could keep it. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> screws keeping it from sliding down.
sits. Yay! Still undecided if we're doing one more lift and then rebar foam or if we're doing rebar foam after this. So we'll see. We just put in lift number seven. Ricky is ramming it now, and then he's going to put down more rebar and more foam. So we're doing one more and then concrete cap. Getting ready for a concrete cap. Um, we have to stop for a minute to cut some chamfers because we're going to be setting the cap at a slight angle. So we have to do some math and some stuff that we forgot to do yesterday uh, to make sure that those chamfers are ready to go and at the right angles, etc. <laughs> Color, sand, rock in the bucket. Okay. You want to do two bags of cement? Yes. Did you double the color? Yes. Okay. And a lot of water. Well, it's one and a half percent. A lot of water. One and a half percent, but three pounds. Yeah. A lot of water. So yes, doubled. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Let's finish it up. Let's do this. It's you been got a long this. time coming. Yeah, we've got about probably... What is that? Nine, ten inches to do. So it'll probably be two full buckets, maybe a little more. But good size log, right? Yeah. Not not a hundred percent sure how we're gonna mill it. Uh, yeah. Um, I think we're gonna have to do the old Alaskan sawmill. Yeah. And use the chainsaw to square it up. Right. So it'll fit. Or I may just bring it to Taylor. Yeah. Taylor's mill will do up to six foot diameter logs. Oh, should, I go, uh, should I go show the folks? Sure. Well, Big. we're going to get after this because okay. the longer we wait, the longer it takes before lunch. So uh, Fair. let's do this. I don't know if you can get perspective on that, but this is a limb off of the tree. That's probably a good, f almost four feet in diameter, ish. It's huge. Because we're just, just there. So, All right. half load it is. You're not needed anymore, Lou. I see how it is. Yeah. Okay, so I can bring this down? 
You're good. Okay. All right. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, Luke had a really nice pair of Carhartt pants and he actually wore through them. And so he went to order a new pair and they changed them. Oh, <gasps> yeah. So sad. So sad. We were just talking about boots that like these boots are like a model number off of my other Timberland pros. I'm really, really happy with and they're 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 just not the same so and he had a pair of car hearts and they just they changed yeah. him so sad the woes of work wear yeah. so there was one bucket too much up there i'm gonna dump it in here and then i'll take it over that's on because i don't want to walk that bucket over there it's really heavy that's fair so. this has to go over there anyway so Sorry, I parked here thinking I would unload all that, but if I loaded it all up, then we would need one more bucket, so... Of course! Uh, yeah, I'll get out there. I'll get out of the way. Freaking out. Wow, that's heavy. Uh-huh. Really makes a... Think about how heavy this whole thing is when uh -huh. it's like... Oh, I know! <laughs> Trust me! I am fully aware... Yeah. ...how heavy this thing is. Uh, it's, uh, it's All right, everyone, on the YouTubes, I got a safety harness. Because apparently it's dangerous to work at heights without one. Thank you, love! You're welcome. So this is my safety harness. Hashtag not sponsored. I don't even remember the brand name, but it wasn't the cheapest. Certainly wasn't the most expensive, but a nice, uh, you know, in between. Now we can launch you into the pond safely. Mm, I don't think that's how that yeah, works. No, just... yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Yeah. But look, I've got two little hooky things so I can clip off. It's connected to my back. So if I fall, I can do the old Tom Cruise thing. Next time we get an excavator, we can flip you off to the bucket and just spin, and just me, spin around. me around. <laughs> right round, baby. Like a record? Well, I did have the thought. So hear me out. I need to be able to screed the very center of the wall. There's yes. no way to get to it. No, there's there's a way to get to it. There is. You Tom Cruise your way in. Yeah, I'm going to Tom Cruise my way in. I'm going to straight up Mission Impossible this ish. All right. Let's go. I'm really tired. Let's. We gotta get the hopper down. Let's just That's get the fun. hopper down. Here we go. I have a hard hat. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, I just realized I forgot to take Snuffy off. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. All right, come on. That's a that's a Ricky on top of the telehandler problem. It's me being safe. Safe. This me being extra safe. <laughs> You're going terrific. You're going terrific. See now I can't fall. I can like dance around up here. It's impossible for me to get hurt now. Not true. Normally I'm a little bit like, ooh, I don't like being up that high because yeah. it's it's past the point of just not even going to the hospital injury. 
but not quite far enough to where I just die instantly. Like that's like maim and a lot of pain and surgery, broken bones height. I don't like that. Neither do I. But in a hot, in a harness? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe. Thank you all the YouTube commenters who suggested I do this. You were right. All right, this is the first pass. Ricky will come up here and screed it one more time uh, in about an hour, but looks fantastic. So we had some lunch. Luke's working on uh, swapping out the forks so we can pull the forms in a few days. Uh, I'm gonna do one last, uh, what's it called? Screed, screed, what, skim? Screed? Screed, skim? something. Uh, scrape to flatten out the top. And then we're going to leave it. Going to work on other projects. So we'll strip the forms probably today's Friday. We'll probably strip them Monday. And then reset for the Sirewall course, which if you haven't signed up yet, what are you doing with your life? Come learn with us and Sirewall. Build a north wall. This is the south wall. So we're going to build the, con the wall directly across from this in one week. Uh, I don't know if there's still spots. As of right now, I think there are still spots available. So sign up, Your link in the- registration closes soon. Yeah, registration closes like real soon. So sign up, link in the description and come learn how to do rammed earth with us. We'd love to meet y'all and we're really looking forward to it. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure.